Hello everybody, Steve here, and today I have this Unity disc detainer lock, and I, I do like the way it looks and stuff, it's pretty cool, pretty nice little, little lock here, you can get zoomed in here actually, just thought about that, very nice lock, it is a disc detainer lock, and there is uh, seven disc in here and it is guttable and I do have a gutted the twin that I have because I got when I bought them I got two of them so this is the uh, the twin they're both keyed the same and so this one has been taken apart and these are all the discs seven discs with spacers and here's the sidebar right there and we got the cap the screw cap that goes in there the grub screw take that grub screw out the screws out and we can actually see into the inside there you can kind of see that sleeve there you can see the side there where the sidebar slides in this side is where the back tab of the um, disc here where those are at, where those go at so they're where the tab is so that it will kind of limit the travel and of course on the disc you have the notch here at the top where the sidebar fits in I have them all on this blue tape so I can kind of keep a hold of them because I don't want to lose them or misplace them and I don't have a a tray for them yet so anyway let's get this picked this is take two uh, my first take didn't go so well got messed up had all kinds of problems anyway so let's do take two so we'll take this lock the first thing I do is I'll turn all the disc clockwise which is the zero position and that's the way that Chris Capune, who is helping me to uh, get the or to learn, it's kind of the way he refers to it. It's basically turning them all, all the discs to a known position, a zero position. Known position is basically what it is, and that way this pick will slide in. So I've already measured the nose, the depth of the nose, and so I set it up so that this part will rest on the lock and then this will turn just the first disc and not the second one and so that's how I've got it set up so I'm just gonna put that in there and I'll turn put some tension on here turn it clockwise put some tension it doesn't take much tension kind of light tension and then I will slide the tip in all the way to the back of the lock and then I'll come out to try and fill for the first disc and then I will get it onto that disc so I'm basically in, in the um, in the center of the disc of course I try to explain it and it goes right out of my position so let's see here's the first disc and it just feels like it's dragging so I think I don't think I even was on it I think that doesn't do anything I think that's a zero cut let's go to the next disc Doesn't seem like it's doing anything either. Maybe, maybe I should have started at the beginning. <clears throat> okay, now I move to the beginning of the lock. Turn that. Okay, that feels like it went into a, a slide off, or feel like it went into a. Okay. So the hard part for me is just trying to 
figure out what I'm doing because I'm not the expert on this and not a lot of experience so some of it some of it's I'm learning but some of it's luck <laughs> at this point <laughs> and for me the hardest part is trying to uh, I can't and since this is basically a fixed up cheap Chinese pick it doesn't have any kind of lines on there indicating how far I've turned it or how where it's positioned in the lock so it's kind of just going by feel for me at this point I'm on a disc and it just feels like I'm rubbing two pieces of metal together on the edge so now it feels like it's in the gate so let's move to the next disc here gets in there so at this point it's basically trying to go back and forth on each disc trying to turn them all and make and get them set film for the differences as I try to do so to kind of make sure I got it because this doesn't seem like anything's binding at this point okay that feels like I'm doing something there Yeah, like I said, some of it's learning a little bit and some of it's luck. <laughs> and <clears throat> I have been able to pick this a couple times. So I'm hoping that I can get this open for you guys on camera this time. it's been a while guys are probably back there saying encourage me to keep going and there we go got it that did it Whew. I think it's it's kind of neat to play with these disc detainer locks and try them out and stuff because they do feel different than what I'm used to but they are a lot of fun different feeling uh, kind of reminds me of doing a kind of like having a lever lock but not quite because you're turning it but I'm still using a two-in-one pick type of a thing but it's kind of a little different but anyway so there we go we got it <laughs> Well, maybe we should do oh I got that celebration thing still on here where is that Woo -yay! <laughs> All right. love the fireworks A little bit of fun because I am definitely excited that I was able to get this open and it's definitely been taking a lot of practice and stuff to, to kind of learn and try to understand what's going on and so part right now it's part of its luck part of it's a little bit of learning but mostly luck <laughs> right now at this point but um, I do plan on getting some better tools um, if you want to if anybody wants to sponsor me on getting some good tools that would be kind of nice hey what what do you think about that but anyway so I'm gonna be planning on getting some good tools and stuff like that I got a couple more disc detainer locks to work with but uh, at least now we do I can say that I do have 
a disc detainer lock picked and on camera. And so this is the Unity lock. This is the lock that is gutted. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Make sure that uh, you are subscribed and you leave a like. And definitely leave comments down below. And thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.